Hi, so in one of my other videos I showed you how to install XRDP and get the GNOME uh, fallback desktop uh, when you RDP into it. So, um, for example, and in this video I'm going to go through installing the other uh, desktops so that uh, if that one didn't work, if, if the GNOME fallback or the Ubuntu 2D or 3D didn't work for your XRDP, um, maybe in this case this is Lumbutu and this is uh, XUmbutu or XFCE and this is uh, the KDE desktop so if, if uh, the GNOME fallback didn't work your other options are these other three desktops otherwise for example if, if you log in uh, what I mean is I'm, I'm gonna log in as a different account here and this one won't work so you might have run into this problem where you get a blank screen like this and it just sits there and it, it doesn't start the X server or the X desktop uh, at all. It just sits there like this. Um, and in this case I actually have the GNOME fallback configured and it doesn't connect. Uh, but I have other options. So I'm going to show you how to install that and, and I'm going to have all of these commands in the about section, the description section of the video. Uh, so I already have everything installed but uh, suppose I didn't I'll be installing XRDP here doing the uh, super user uh, sudo command. So I already have it installed so it doesn't do anything. Um, and then I'll, I'll install one of the others. Uh, so for K, uh, the KDE desktop, I actually installed KDE workspace data. Um, the other options are actually just KDE full or KDE desktop. But in, in my case, I actually installed uh, workspace data. And you'll see it doesn't do anything be because I already have it installed. And uh, that actually gave me this desktop. So right now I RDP'd into this uh, instance here. It's a VM but uh, for the most part you, you could think of this as the physical machine here that I'm logged into, uh, um, remote desktoped into. So this is how KDE looks. Uh, so after, after I install I just want to go through some of the KDE stuff really quick, but that's not really the purpose of this. It's really how to install this. So, um, so after I installed software, after I installed the XRDP and then the KDE workspace data, um, I have to log in as the user and create that .x session. So in my home directory, I actually created this .x session file and if you see what's in it um, this is how I start KDE and this is only for KDE so all I did was go to my home directory and I just say echo start KDE and I redirect the output to my home directory and then that file name and if, if you already have that file then you do a remove so I just executed that command and again this is all going to be in the about and description area of the video so that's how you set up the KDE um, the other desktop is Lumbutu so Lumbutu actually this is the command for Lumbutu and you'll notice I already have it installed so if I skip over to the Lumbutu um, this is how it looks and this is the command in the S session file uh, let me go through some of the apps here and there's a, the shutdown button here 
So that's uh, typically how it looks. And again, if uh, once again I RDP'd into it already, um, but if I am setting up my X session, and, and again, if, if I'm setting up the X session file, I, I have to log into the physical machine. Uh, and this VM here represents the physical machine. Uh, if you actually have a physical machine already, then you log into that one and change to that directory. So I'm, I'm just doing it here uh, for brevity. Um, so let me change to my home directory, uh, show you what's in my, well, uh, yeah, I'll show you what's in my X session file, which is that, which, which is actually this command here. So that's the execution command of, um, that actually starts the X desktop when you remote desktop in. So uh, again, I just did an echo LX session dash S bloom Bluetooth dash E LX DE, and I redirected the output to my X session file. Again, if you already have that, you should remove it first before executing this command. And once again, I'll have these commands in the about and description section. So that's uh, Lumbu 2. Um, and when I installed the X Ubuntu, which is this, the uh, XFCE for session. So just uh, repeating what I did was I changed to the home directory and I created that X session file that you see. So if, if I go into the contents of the X session file, you'll see that's what I have. That's, that's what actually starts, that's the command that again starts the X desktop when you RDP into it. So once again, uh, just do echo xfce4-session, redirect to uh, your home directory, session, and, and again, if, if you already have that file, then, then you should remove, then, then you should remove that. Um, whoops spelled it wrong then you should remove it and then execute that uh, echo to populate that file or just edit the file with your uh, favorite text editor so um, uh, I'm doing this video because once again uh, not everybody was able to get their version uh, set up using uh, the GNOME fallback or the Ubuntu 2D or 3D and they just got this so um, hopefully this will help and uh, you know good luck with uh, RDPing into your favorite uh, using your favorite uh, X desktop um, and thank you for watching